Luke, you seem happier with that performance. What did you make of today's game? We competed. With seconds, got an arm on people, competed with first contact, second contacts. We've come to a side that I believe they've won their last three games here, 3-0, 3-0, 3-0. So to go away with a 0-0, it was a six-pointer. Let's have it right. We couldn't drop the points in terms of them getting the win because they would have leap, leapfrogged us this evening. So to come away with a 0-0, away from home you take that. I think if you was to offer up 0-0s to any managers on the road and to win your home games, I think they'd bite your hand off. So to come here and to compete, yeah, I think the players that come in, Comley and Connor Stevens, Bowden, I thought Connor Stevens was immense and I thought Comley had a really good game and I think Bowden led the line with the intelligence that he has and I felt that Jamal Firefield was really productive with Evans. There was a, yeah, there was a little bit more bite about us, which I, um, I stand for and that's what my teams are about. So I'm, I'm really happy. Obviously, we want to win games of football, yet to score. I know that now that's three, four games we've not scored in, but if you're a paying punter now from the away fans, I think you can't grumble that we didn't try and compete with a bit more about us as opposed to on Saturday. We've not won in away in almost two months since that Bournemouth game. Does that worry you at all? Nah, listen, I've just spoken to the group. It's still in our hands. We go to Aldershot on, on Saturday. We know they're no mugs. We know they're in a bit of a run like us. But we need to go there with that mentality. If we play like that against Aldershot, have a little bit more clinicality and quality in the final third, then I think we're causing problems. But that's, for me, way better. I'll, I'll take that for the remaining 10 games of the season because they showed a bit of bite this evening. You mentioned it there, in our own hands. Is it in our own hands to get top three or is that just for the playoffs? No, nah, listen, we're, we're not foolish. Wrexham have gone and thumped Barnet 6-0 this evening. Stockport doing what Stockport are doing. Halifax have been fantastic. I said to the chairman and the CEO that I think Pete Wilde's done an unbelievable job out of all them seven, eight teams in the division. I think Pete Wilde is, is probably one of the better managers because of what he has to his disposal. But for me, they've gone and done what they've done. Solly and Neil Hardley's doing fantastic. Grinsby, Notts County. These are all big sides in the National League. we got to control what we can control. We had to stop the rot today and we've started an unbeaten run. And that, that was this evening. That was the task. We can't lose a game and we didn't. Do I want to go and get three points? Of course. <coughs> Excuse me. Of course I do. I think we had the better chances. I think we had a couple of chances first half. We had the save from Elliot Justin to his left-hand side in the second half. We had the header from Bowes in the first half. So I think we had a couple of chances away from home. It's just unfortunate they didn't fall in the back of the net. What's your thoughts on the Junior Marais penalty appeal? I think it's a pen. I think we got away a murder, but we shouldn't have had a pen against us against Chesterfield. So I think across the season, they outweigh, I think they balance out. So for me, I think he's missed one, fortunate for us. I think if you wave your foot at someone in the 18 yard box, they're going to take, take you up on the offer. And I think he deserved the pen for it. But unfortunately, they didn't get it. And fortunately for us, we, we didn't get it against us. Like I said, Chesterfield weren't a pen. That one was a pen. It balanced itself out over the course of the season. We're happy with the nil-nil today, but is there any point in that game you're thinking, put an extra striker and go for the game? So I looked at him for, if we go and chase the game, do we open it up? I was thinking about bringing Denon Lewis on, I have to say, in a, in a wide area. I think the minute I, I showed my hand on that, I think they bring on Miles Weston because I think they'd pin us back. So I looked at it. We had the results sort of going through the, the bench in terms of what was going on around. And I felt that coming here and getting a point was more productive than making the game slightly more open and they go and catch us on the break. So if you had offered me nil nil at the start of the game, I probably would have taken it because I feel that we are currently in a little bit of a rut and we've started an unbeaten run and we now go, go to all the shot with a little bit more confidence off the back of that. And we need to go there and have a little bit more care, a little bit more, like I said, clinicality in the final third. And if we do that, we'll cause them problems. Cheers.